please. So we got a gay guy in the NBA, huh? Gives a fuck. It, this is such a fucking... It's the top story everywhere. Right. And who gives a shit? Who cares? Why is this a story in this day and age? A story? Why the fuck is it even an issue? Hey, he's gay. G good. Good for him. Not good. Good for fucking him. Fucking great. Who gives a shit? Like, who cares? And it's okay for people to say not good, by the way. Yeah, fine. I, I think it's fine, and I also think I don't give a fuck. As long as they don't do anything to fucking hurt his uh, ability to, to, you know... Do his job. Enjoy his life, his career, anything like that. You could you could not like gay uh, the gay lifestyle. You could find it um, repulsive and disgusting if you want. Uh, that's fine. But you know what? You can't infringe on on his uh, rights uh, in this country or or on his uh, personal life. As long as he's not uh, you know pulling out his pecker during right. an NBA game because he can't handle all the men around him. And I think that's what a lot of <laughs> anti-gay people think. Of course, think. that's what they think. They think. Oh, These that's lunatics. what they say. That's what they say. What they think though right. is that they're getting so turned on by gay men right. that they can't even look at them or know they're gay uh, without somebody looking at them and going, "Hey, are you gay?" Right. Me and Ann were discussing the whole locker room. Thing. Because they're like, well, you know, I'm going to be b uncomfortable in the locker room knowing there's a gay guy in there. Yeah. If you're a real guy, you don't give a fuck. Who cares? You don't care. Plus, they're already there anyway, whether you like it or not. Thank you. And that's what Charles Barkley said last night. Bravo. We're getting the clip. Barkley basically was saying, look, there's been, um, you know, we all played with gay players. We all know there's gay players. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's... That's their business, so we never got into their business. It's not up to us to, you know, give you a list of who's gay in the who's, NBA. Who's the gay? But we all have played with NBA gay players. Yeah. So this isn't really that big of a deal after all. No. <clears throat> it's just sad that the guy's uh, Jason Collins. <clears throat> and, you know, a lot of people saying he's brave to, uh, to do this, but sort of. I mean, he's at the end of his career. Yeah. And I believe yeah. he's been released by uh, the Wizards was his last team. And there's a very good possibility he's not going to be playing next year. Mm -hmm. This might be it for him. So, you know, technically he's an active player announcing he's gay. But, you know, he absolutely waited to the yeah. pretty much the end of his career because he wasn't brave enough to come out in his prime. Mm -hmm. That's got to be a tough place to come out, too. Fucking show business is one thing where everybody's understand. But the athletes, man, there's a different athletes mentality. Athletes don't understand. Yeah, there's a, there's a, especially uh, in the black community, there's just this big thing about gay yeah. that isn't really accepted as much in the black community. Um, and obviously a lot of uh, athletes are uh, black guys. So you get this fucking environment of... Uh, of it. Well, the right. NBA, too, because a lot of, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I don't want to say thugs. They're not thugs. They're, they're just, but they're guys that came up in, in fucking, right. in those neighborhoods. And, like, those are the guys you're hanging out with. Exactly. And that's probably not a very comfortable place to go, you know, guys, sit down. I want to share. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. It's probably not the easiest group of guys to do it. You're not going to get, like, oh, we sympathize. You get, damn, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> suck it, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I think in general, if you have a neck tattoo, you might be yeah. against the gay. The gay. In general. In general. Gay. In general. <laughs> but it, it, this always stirs up this big thing, and um, I don't know. I just don't even think it's necessary. Just let people fucking At you know. this point, it shouldn't be necessary, but for some reason, it still is. Being gay is such a personal thing, aside from the... The flamboyant, which is obviously the minority, the, the the flamboyant, fucking wearing the assless chaps and fucking uh, uh, on on a, one of those Halloween parade floats. Well, that's why they got to clean you up know. their own community, though, yeah. because that gives them a bad name. It does. It does. We have talked about that. You, you're right. That is the minority, but that's what's pushed out there usually. Right. Right. The gay pride parade is. Yeah. Wow, is that a a freak show? Huh? Yeah. But but for the most part, it's a it's a personal thing that you know. People, you might know that they're gay, but you couldn't just on the outside see from the way he works or the way, you know, he fucking drives his car or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So who gives a fuck? Who yeah, cares? Yeah, it's like commuting. 
and uh, finding yeah. out that there's uh, there's gays around you, gay also drivers. commuting. Ah, <laughs> <Hi>, you. <laughs> Why I oughta. The yeah. gay commuter. Yeah, the commuter. This fucking car is right up my ass the whole right. time. Right. Well, oh, that figures. There's gay guys all over the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they can't help themselves, and they're they're nude as they drive, you know, to yes, work. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, well, look at them. Oh, they're out there. <laughs> Fuck. So stupid. It is. It really it's, is just it, dumb. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, and people but, are saying he, he's gonna, they're going to be relentless to him on the road. Uh, yeah. But the problem is I think he, he might just about be done. Is he done? He might squeeze uh, another year out. Maybe. I'm like, who cares? Maybe, but, you know, this could be it for him anyway. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Can't wait to play the Barkley Club. See, uh, he, he was great on Anderson Cooper last night. He really was. Oh, Anderson. He, he basically said, there's been gay players in the NBA, and we all know it. Yeah. They already know it. Yeah. Always has been, he there's, said. Yeah, there's been gay guys in all sports forever. The guys that play with them, for the most part, know. Uh, Once the guys come out, though, the fear of being outed is probably not as... The, the threat of being outed is probably not as great once a few guys... Yeah? Yeah, especially in sports like uh, football and basketball. Baseball is, is, is a sport, but it's just not... You expect the, the gay to be in baseball, right? The gay? Less, I would say more so than football <laughs> or, 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 or basketball, yeah. Even though that may be silly of me, but I, I, for some reason, I, I think it would be harder for someone in, in football or basketball. I don't know why I think that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. And, and and on the other end of the spectrum, I guess a lot of people are getting, uh, not a lot of people, but uh, who's that guy from ESPN? He's oh, catching some uh, shit for what he said. Broussard or something like that, yeah. right? Uh, Chris uh, Broussard, right? Now, if you're going to allow people uh, their, their religious ideology and uh, accept, um, you know, the, the holidays, accept uh, what they believe in, religious, religious freedom... Then if you ask a religious person what they think about gays and they give you an answer yep. you don't like, well, tough shit. It's First true. of all, you ask them. Secondly, uh, that's part of their religion. I know gays don't like hearing it. I know a lot of progressives don't like hearing of, about religion at all and shit. But the fact of the matter is, if you're adhering to a certain religion and that religion says... Uh, and you, if you've even interpreted that religion to say that we don't accept gays then that's just as good as I fucking have to eat unleavened bread. Mm. And I fucking, you know, I have to do the sign of the cross there when I fucking kneel or something. It's just part of the religion. So if they don't want to like it, and again, doesn't mean you have to be uh, accepting or you like it, but, you know, you can't let your religion affect the way the guy uh, lives his life. But you don't have to accept it. You don't have right. to like it. You don't have to be um, uh, this... this guy that has to say that we love uh, you know right. we love the gay lifestyle is there an actual clip or was it in an article yeah there is a clip it's chris uh, broussard from espn and, watch it now? and yeah, let's uh, see what the he fuck. released a statement overnight by the way he? oh yeah he's panicking yeah he's panicking oh of course he's seeing his fucking career go out go this morning on the eastbound oh, side between randall oh. Amowick. But again, oh, he, 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 these guys do have the right to their opinion, even though I think it stinks. If you're religious and yeah, you don't like course. gay people, I, just, I think you're kind of a douche. Yeah, yeah. But you can't punish people because they don't, as long as it doesn't oh. affect how he does his job, right. you can't punish him for feeling that way. I said what, what he said was absolutely ignorant. People are like, ignorant, it's in the Bible. Exactly. But yeah, you got to kind of fucking, if, you, if you're going to respect other people's goofy religions... Uh, you you got to accept that part of it, too. And that's kind of what he said in his statement. He didn't apologize for what he said. Uh -huh. He he apologized for it becoming but, an issue. Yeah. You know, but these people aren't living a, a perfect religious lifestyle, by the way. <laughs> apparently, as they say, as they say, it's in the Bible. They're breaking yeah, rules yeah. left and fucking right. But this is one rule they especially don't like. So they point that one out. In, in this country, we like accepting, uh, a lot of people like accepting the fact that uh, Muslims enjoy blowing things up for their religion. Uh, it's accepted by many people in this country, <laughs> apparently. Mm. They don't, they say we can't talk about it. Don't fucking, don't lump them all into one category. Don't say that they're uh, oh. violent. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions. I got a gay disc right here, so Ooh. this is perfect. 
All the gay stuff right here on one disc. So, nice, uh, the gay disc. The gay disc. Chris Broussard explains to ESPN that homosexuality and premarital sex is against Christianity. Okay. All right. All right. So a lot of us sin by having sex before uh, marriage there, very, right? Very, very sinning over People here. People are sinning all sinning. over the fucking place. So what are you talking about? Very sinning. He mentioned in, in his article, Jason, that, that he is a Christian as well. So what's your take on that? Personally, I, I don't believe that you can live an openly homosexual lifestyle or an openly pre, like premarital sex between heterosexuals. If you're openly living that type of lifestyle, then the Bible says you know them by their fruits. It says that you fruits. know that's a sin. It's a and if you're openly living in unrepentant sin, whatever it may be, not just homosexuality, adultery. Fornication, premarital sex between heterosexuals, whatever it may be, I believe that's walking in open rebellion to God and to Jesus go. Christ. So I would not characterize that person as a Christian because I don't think the Bible would characterize him as a Christian. There you go. The, the guy should absolutely not be fired. Not at all. No. And he was asked his opinion. You yeah. might not a, agree with what he had to say, but you know, certainly he has the right to say it. This is a prime example of freedom of religion and freedom of speech right there. Yeah. Prime example of uh, the ability to say something that offends uh, certain people, but you have the right to say it and should not be penalized for saying it. And he didn't, he didn't, he didn't blast the guy and he nope. didn't say anything. The, the guy's terrible. He said, hey, premarital sex, all that stuff. He kind of lumps it all into the same category. Sure. The Bible says it's a sin, so I say You want to burn in hell for the pleasures of your cock? Exactly. It's up, up to you, my friend. You want to make a three-pointer and then sink that larger than ever <laughs> thing into the hiney of another gentleman? <laughs> you can talk to God about it. <laughs> but he has the right to yes. say that, even though I think it's silly. But yeah, yeah. he's got the right. Of course he does. Why, the, why is there any shit being given? Why? Why, why do we why do we fucking cry about people not being honest? Oh. And then when a guy's honest, we allow him to We hang him out to dry. We hang him out to dry. Yeah. One guy on Twitter is like, I, I hope his you know I don't agree with what he had had to say and I hope his uh, bosses fire him. Huh. Why would you but, even No, fucking... you don't want that why ever. Would you, want that? you don't want that. Because eventually, you know, they're gonna go after something that you ha are passionate about. Of course. Would you prefer that he lies? Yeah. We would right. prefer he lies. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, he could have gave a bullshit answer. Typical American. I don't boy. want that. Why aren't politicians honest? Why does everybody lie? Here's an example. Of right course. now, the guy telling the truth. Yep. And you want him fired for it. That's the truth. I think he, I think he stinks for the way he feels. Absolutely. I think I, he's I'm a with douche. you, Jimmy. I think the biblical shit makes me sick, but he's got the right to feel the way. You know what would have been a great answer for him right there? Hey, so what's your take on it? Um, I'd love to tell you my take on this, but I can't. Because uh, there's a bunch of babies and hypocrites out there mm. that could possibly get me fired for my uh, thoughts on this. So, you know what? I'm going to pass. You know what? We're heading toward that world. Yes. If, we're, we're that will be the answer. We're kind of in that world already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we are. We're, we're kind completely. of in that world. Because, you know, this is a huge headline because only every once in a while someone actually steps up and goes, all right, uh -huh. you want to know my opinion? Here it is. Yeah, here it is. You're not going to like Strap it, but here it, it is. Yeah. You're right. I mean, when fucking, you know, Sal came out as being gay, I didn't care. I didn't either. Who cares? Sal's a good guy. You know, yeah. and he didn't even have to say it. He, he just fucking, you know, got in his underwear and felt up a gay man Absolutely. right here in the studio. I wonder why he had a wizard's jersey. I don't even he, think about it. He still does his uh, his job. <laughs> right, he still does oh, his shitty job. Right, there you go. <laughs> he does his job very shittily. Yeah. Being gay, he, could, he couldn't do it any worse. <laughs> <Right>. Yes. <laughs> Straight gay, he still does it shitty. Right. Yes. See, nothing has changed with Sal. That's right. Uh, then you had Charles Barkley on CNN with Anderson Cooper. What was your reaction? Well, the first thing, uh, I was happy for Jason, because uh, I'm, you know, anybody, people should get to be who they want to be. But knowing as a gay player in the NBA, I think anybody who thinks they never played with a gay player is, is an idiot. I played with several gay players. It's their own business. And I think they should get to be who they want to be. I think that's the first time I've ever heard an athlete say that. Yeah. Bravo. He's played with gay players. I mean, and, and he knows that every fucking player out there knows that they played with gay players. Yeah. Good for you, Barkley. There was rumors, and this is a, a rumor I heard years ago. Do you remember years ago when Robbie Alomar spit in the umpire's face? Mm-hmm. 
I remember at the time there was a rumor, and I, and I really, I don't know, he, I think he's been married since, he might have been bullshit, right. that he was gay. And the rumor was that the umpire had said something really anti, some nasty slur, and then Robbie had spit in his face. Because you remember that that went away, like, he got in trouble for it, but not the kind of trouble you'd expect someone to get in right. yeah. for spitting in an umpire's face. They might have had a closed door meeting, like, look, this, this is why I did what I did. Yeah, and that, again, that Who might knows? be total bullshit, but... right. That's, that's the only time I've ever heard of it in baseball, even, even rumored. Yeah. Mm. Did I cover bases while well on that? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard uh, an athlete come out and say what Barkley right. just said that we played there. I thought that was very interesting. And then Barkley continued. Charles, do you think the fans are ready for this? I mean, do you think the sport is ready for this? You know, as I think your question is great because Doc Rivers says some today. I think he's going to be at peace in the locker room. I think we as jocks have gotten a bad rap for a lot, for a lot of years. I've heard all these talking heads for the last few years talking about these guys will be uncomfortable in the locker room. First of all, they're going to be safe in the locker room. We've all played with gay guys. We're going to welcome them with open arms. I think society is more homophobic than teams in locker rooms. The thing that's going to be interesting mm, to me, I think that. it's all right for guys to disagree or say they don't like gay people. That, to me, is going to be the great debate. I, I've been pro-gay marriage for a long time. But right now, if anybody comes out and say they don't, they're uncomfortable with a gay teammate, Says. they're going to get crucified. He's right, too. I think that's unfair. I think this is going to open up a great debate. Hopefully some more guys will come out. If, if they want to be free, they deserve to be free. But I think that's going to be the interesting dynamic of this whole thing, Anderson, because obviously some people are un uncomfortable around gay people, and they should be able to say that. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Some smart stuff there. Did Charles come out as a grammar assassin? <laughs> that, did, did he, did he uh, technically come out and say it? That he hates grammar? <laughs> Holy shit. You know what, though? Charles is a no-bullshit cut-to-the-chase <laughs> well, guy. Well, he certainly is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Maybe he's right. You know what? None of us are in, are in, in, uh, into a, uh, a team. Maybe maybe he's right. Maybe in the locker room it's not what we think. Mm. You know, maybe it's part of it, but maybe players know so much more than we think they know. Just suiting up, sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we, like, if they, they know it. The, you yeah. know, obviously, you're playing with a guy all that time. You, Absolutely. They know it. They right. see who he's leaving with at the Absolutely. end. Or he's bringing a friend on the road. Who he's not leaving with. Yeah. He's fucking, yeah. Pictures in the locker. Yeah. Just open it up. It's fucking just. Yeah, but it's, it's pictures are like Kareem, so they can't say anything. Like, oh, well, <laughs> he's a ball player. Yeah, so they, they maybe they haven't, because uh, you, you really haven't heard anybody blasting. You, know, you haven't heard them outing, even secretly outing people right. uh, on teams. They haven't been doing that to each other, yeah. so. All right. And then mm. um, Mike Francesa. Oh, what did Mike have to say? Well, he had this to say. Uh, I really don't care. It means less than nothing to me that there is a gay player now out in the NBA. SI going to reveal this this week. And I, 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 I don't know why. I guess a you know, dramatic attempt to sell a magazine, I guess. He, he, I guess. I guess. He's sort of getting in a little trouble for that. Sound clip right there. But he's downplaying and that saying that they're doing it just to sell magazines. Oh really? But yeah. in a way, you know, yeah. it is gonna sell a lot of fucking magazines. That's the same reason we're talking is to sell to that's the same reason yeah. he's talking, and that's right. the same reason every newspaper is printed. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's yeah, commerce. Stupid oh asshole. God. Obviously yeah. that's why they're doing it. That's why anybody does anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dead, he's yeah. got the gay face. Yeah, oh, he brought up the fact that uh, our spaz. old uh, our old intern slash employee Spaz from years ago from NEW um, used to do a bit <laughs> about how he could tell that people were gay just by looking at them because, as he said, <laughs> they had the gay face, <laughs> the gay face. And we look at and and you look at the picture of this guy. <laughs> Absolutely, dude, he's got the gay face. Well, yes. Why did Spaz pick that would picture? certainly say that? Today. Yeah. It's very soft and well, that's a, tender uh, and smiley. smiley and sensitive. They should yeah. have showed him playing or, or do it like in one of those moments where a fucking right. NBA player is like you see. That's, they, that's what they should have um, showed. That's the other side of this. He, well, he doesn't really have many moments on the court. Oh, no? Mm, uh, not a lot of people are talking about Jason Collins and his skills mm. in the NBA. They still should have showed that. I think he averaged around three, three and a half points a game, something like that. Oh, no, did he? Oh, yeah, he's, oh, not, he he's not that great. He's been around a while, but... 
played for the Nets and no one even knew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So whatever. Like just a picture of him crashing up against the board or doing something that, uh-huh. like that's because that's what you don't expect. Yeah. Like this is the face of a guy smiling with his hands. That looks like a fucking portrait. <laughs> like that guy's gay. Yeah, okay, I can kind of tell. I would never put my hand up like that for a photo. Under Why? your chin? No. no. Under my balls. <laughs> <laughs> but they should show him doing something that's not a stereotypically soft, gentle. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that would be more the stereotypical uh, florist or interior decorator yeah. shot than a uh, basketball player. Show right. him doing a basketball player thing, and then people will go, wow, mm-hmm. I looked at that guy, and I never would have thought, I guess I can't judge him. You know, right now yeah. you're looking at it going, yeah, I get it. Yeah, sure, he's gay. Mm-hmm. Oh, he plays ball? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. The story is because he's a basketball player, so show him playing basketball. Right. More Francesa. Oh. Yes. I mean, I mean, we all realize that there are plenty of gay people in America. Really? you got to figure some of them are playing sports. Sports. The fact that they don't feel comfortable enough to come out, we now have to force them out or push them to come out. I mean, so, or whatever reason, but now we have a player in Jason Collins who has been a, you know, a journeyman player in the NBA, now admitting as he looks to stay in the league, and now if he doesn't stay in the league, it will all be considered that he's been run out of the league. (laughs) But admitting now that... Or at least now coming forward with the fact that he is homosexual. Why? I have no idea. I guess you'll have to read the story. I, I, I guess I will when I get a chance. I mean, I have, I, I have the story here. I have no, I'm not compelled to run and talk about it or read it. I really don't care. I, I, I can't be any more honest. I don't care. It makes a good point there. I believe he's been released, so if if another team doesn't pick him up, yeah, people are going to go, well, the, the reason was uh, because he's gay. They didn't yeah, want him yeah, on, yeah, yeah. They didn't want him on their team. Meanwhile, uh, he's pretty much on his way out, you're saying? Uh, ah, yeah, odds, yeah, odds are pretty good that yeah. he might not be playing next year, if, you know, if he does. Did Iverson retire, by the way? <clears throat> yeah. He did, okay. Well, then he came back, and I think he's finally retired, retired, I believe, yeah. Why you mention Iverson? Just thought of him before when I was thinking of uh, tattooed players, uh, and I just mentioned him now. Uh, I'm just wondering what happened to him. I, I wonder. Uh, I, I I understand things like uh, gay people having a problem coming out in public because of the um, stigma put on them, whatever. But I think when they say they have a problem coming out to their parents and stuff, that's an odd thing to me. It because it 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 would have to boiled down to a personal shame of what you're doing and what your lifestyle is that you can't go privately to your own parents or your family because a lot of gays say oh my god the biggest thing that i've heard is do you know how difficult it is for a gay person to come out to their family well, and society say, did that though but isn't that your own image of of gayness and and your 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 being gay and gay lifestyle right. that you have this shame that you can't even come out to your parents about it like where does that part come from and it's different than coming out in public you know parents are probably harder i'm guessing that they're harder but why i had to throw in i'm guessing but if (laughs) but if but if gays are so like want everybody to accept gays and be accepting and and they themselves have uh, are proud of being gay and stuff then why is it such a problem to come out to to your parents and well, and loved ones. Yeah, but now I can understand the public now, thing because on. of the stigma, but privately it has to boil down to your own personal shame of the it, lifestyle. It's easy to say that now, but now you know, go on a time machine and, and say that exact same statement in 1993. Yeah, there was a lot of shame in society, and that probably played into your own fucking head. Plus, you have old school parents that never, you know, understood. You know, they didn't even understand the Beatles. They're gonna understand that you, you put your dick in some man's ass. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But until I know, I don't know if I'm fucking. I don't know, but it's a shame. I understand about, what you're yeah, saying, and, it, and it right. I think it is becoming easier. Yeah. But we only got to this place very recently, 
where there's a lot less shame associated with it. Yeah, and I don't even know if you... If, Society if it, shame, I'm saying. If it's saying. shame or you're afraid of how your parents are going to react. Like, even if you feel good about yourself, yeah. to people, their relationship with their parents is very important. And if you know that your father feels a certain way or your mom or whatever feels a certain way about something, even if you feel okay with it and you can go, yeah, I'm going to live this way, knowing that you may do damage to your relationship with your parents or mm-hmm. that they may feel something... Even though you feel good about it, it still may be a difficult thing to, to do. Like, so then how have, could you assume or how could you expect society, people that don't even know you or care about you, to be accepting if you don't even think your fucking parents are going to be accepting? Well, oh. you, you can expect it and want it and, and demand it. It doesn't mean that... I mean, what do you mean? It's like you, 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 just because you know people aren't going to be accepted, you don't want to be... Uh, you know, no, people so you tell you you pe- can't do anything. No, you could know people aren't going to be accepting, but you can't expect people to be accepting. If you if you have doubts over your own loved ones, you can't expect people to be accepting. You can't gain acceptance by just saying "accept me." You know what I mean? Uh, that's true. Like it's very, it's it's such a weird position to be put in as as a nation and as public. I think um, a, lot, a lot of people don't have open minded parents. Yeah. Yeah. They just don't. Yeah. Do know, I'm a, just did, playing. I'm, in, I'm, I'm playing. In the end, in the end sides you, here. you talk about your dad a lot, right? Sure. Was he an open-minded guy, though? No. <laughs> so, you know. No. So if that was you. Yeah. You would have had an easy time telling your pops? In his words, if I came home with a faggot or a nigger, I was dead. <laughs> dead! <laughs> so what are you talking about in your own family? Yeah. In your own family, you understand it. Yeah. And you're not like that. Like, as much shit as you talk, <laughs> as much nonsense as you talk, you don't care about gay people. Like, you, you, no. Meaning, you're not homophobic. You don't, right. you don't dislike gay no. people. But dad, I th- dad was batting 50 with, uh, but, batting 500 with but, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ann, I think you're answering your own question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you well, talking about? Yeah. But there's a lot of people that have parents like, like your dad. So how the fuck are they going to, you know, tell their, their father they're gay? But, but then how could I expect anything less from anyone else you know i I, I, maybe you're right in like hey how can you because at home it's like that but you know you understand that your that's a great point your your dad right like if you were gay you couldn't even if you love your dad and you admire him and you know but you know that's how he was you couldn't tell me (laughs) son of a bitch (laughs) oh man that'd be jesus christ Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can expect society, because don't forget, it, I think the word acceptance is overused. Yeah. I think the problem is not we need to be accepted, people need to like her. It's The bottom line is people are legislating or fighting for people to be able mm. to live the way they want to live. Uh-huh. I think if, if there was no, if, if the rights were equal across the board, yeah. I don't think people would be talking about his accept- acceptance as much. Because it was like, hey, I can do what I want. I can marry who I want. I can, I can get the same benefits as everybody else. So how you feel about it is valueless to me. But there are two th- schools of thought there. There is the mm. business angle, the very technical slide rule business angle of this guy does this job, so we'll give him this much money and stuff, no matter if he's gay or what. Right. Then there's the personal, more artistic angle, which is... I don't like gay people or I like gay people. I guess the word is more than acceptance is tolerance because you have to tolerate things. You don't yeah. necessarily like it, but you got to live with it and you got to deal with it and you can't hold it back or anything. So, uh, but, but the thing is to, to, I don't know. It, I don't think it could be expected to have people accept you. Oh, of course not. You know, but of course not. But I think that's that's what a lot of civil rights groups, and a lot of um, uh, gay rights groups and stuff th- that they're going for. Of they're course. going for and, a world where they are looked at and and like everyone else right. accepted I'm, based on their merits. But there are people that just hate fucking gay people. Right. I, it's crazy. I completely agree with you. But yeah, I think it's a fair thing to want in America. I think it's fair because we are so busy telling everybody else about human rights uh-huh. and about living a certain way. But we have the right to demand that of our own government. You can't tell people how to how to right. think or no, feel though. and how to like. And the somebody fact is, and not there, are, like there are a lot of people that still are not accepting of this lifestyle. Yeah, which um, is so silly. There, just to get the Jason Collins info, I, I don't know if I said he was released. If I did, uh, I was wrong. He's a free agent. Free agent, which is a little different. So you free. Know, so he doesn't. He doesn't really have a contract. Yeah, like he's looking for you know his oh. next team or to be re-signed by the Wizards. 
And I think if people could 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 govern without their personal feelings getting involved, oh, I don't think this whole acceptance thing would be a problem. It's almost like if people's personal dislike of gays and that lifestyle didn't dictate the way they voted, <laughs> but or you know didn't dictate the way they voted or the way they passed policy, yeah, then it wouldn't be an issue. But mm -hmm. that unfortunately is not the way. That's uh, where acceptance no, means something. No. And we were talking yeah, about Obama because right. Obama, you know, tweeted or or you know was he actually called him on the phone? Oh, he called him. Okay, yeah. like a nice little rah rah, good for you type yeah. thing. But the fact is, Obama only accepted the gay very recently. Yeah. Well, he's another one that uh, his his religion. I would love to very... know what he really thinks because I think he he does it for votes. You think no, the Reverend Wright fucking liked gay people. No. I don't think so. I think Obama was pro gay, and I think that oh, Biden was... inadvertently fucking said that before the election. He yeah, was but why, if he's pro gay, why didn't he say it a lot sooner than he did? Yeah, he had four years to say it. Because he's worried about votes. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Sure. So what's what's real? Is he pro gay or not? Oh, what's real? Yeah, good luck. I think what what they do in the second term, what they say in the second term, is probably more real because they don't have to fight for the election as much. And, and it's too bad that uh, they have to think that way. Yeah. But as we see, you know, you speak the truth, and they want your fucking head. So yeah, head. It's a weird world we fucking live in. Yeah. Bill Clinton uh, supports uh, Jason Collins because uh, Chelsea went, Ch Chelsea went to school with Jason Collins. Oh, really? So Mr. Clinton probably knew way before. Uh, oh. Most that uh, Jason Collins was gay. Hey, how's that? What's that twinkle toes doing? On? <laughs> yeah, every time Chelsea would come come back after a basketball game, Bill would pure all her hands. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Clinton turned around. I don't think Clinton was ever that against gays either. No. Again, these guys are all trying to balance <laughs> mm -hmm. what's going to fuck me in the voting and what's where can I be honest? You know, Clinton, yeah, you like Clinton, he doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he doesn't hate gay people. So America doesn't want to be be talked to honestly, I guess. <laughs> no, no, we hate honesty. Because we 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 attacked uh, Hillary Clinton for wearing a different baseball hat every other fucking week, depending on what city she was in. Yeah, she liked what the Chicago Cubs, the Mets. I'm a Cubs fan. <laughs> she liked really? it. She liked the Go Yankees. No, she liked the Cubs, the Mets, and the Yankees. Yeah. yeah. And we all accept, like, okay, cool. But, you know, if if, if she came out and just said, I'm a, uh, a Cubs fan because I'm from there or whatever the fuck. You respect her more. I, I'm not going to vote for anyone no, based on their fucking sports teams. But she felt like that's the way to play that. Yeah. Because, you know, if you say you're a Yankees fan, and you know, that means you're going to. She's a giant phony. That one. There it is. The Yankees right, and the Cubs hats. <laughs> yes. She's a phony. A phony baloney. Well, she's going to run. Yeah. Who are going to be the big ones? Uh, you got Clinton and maybe... think she's uh, going to run? She's a little old, man. And Governor Christie. They're hinting that she's going to run. Yeah, Governor Christie might, though. What do them lady parts have to do with uh, getting old in the presidency, huh? What about that? Menopause. Are we, uh, are we good with a menopausal um, president? I don't know. What about that dried up old uterus? Does that do anything? I know Guy, you know, they fucking have their nuts and... Shoot jizz and shit like that, uh, right up until they drop dead. Um, a woman though, ooh, those ovaries, like sun-made raisins in there, <laughs> just <laughs> drying out like a couple of dates. Mm. Uh, let's see. The only reason Obama sided with gay is because Biden forced him to. Yeah, we we said that. Yeah, he was too scared to say that. Yeah, I just hate are. that our politicians are too scared to say what they really fucking feel. Which means it's ridiculous. We are hateable as a public because we punish oh, yeah. them for it. Yeah, of course. It's really sad. It's, yeah, it's anybody. We just punish them for honesty. We ask for their opinion. Yeah. And then when they give it to us and we don't like it, oh, we lose our fucking minds. How fucking stupid is that? We deserve what we yeah. get. Every liar in office, we absolutely deserve. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this ESPN guy, as much as I think what he said stinks, he should not get in any trouble for it. No, None. not at all. Not at all. Not an iota of and trouble. gay groups should finally, like like Glad or any, and I know that they're fucking hardcore, man, but they mm -hmm. should really support this guy's right to say what he wants. Because I think that they missed the point on that. Like, guys like that, he's not saying, I want gays killed and I want them out of the NBA. Like you would get more open dialogue and more honesty, and you would you would turn more people around on your opinion. Yeah, if you were more reasonable, and they didn't feel pushed into a corner. If 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 Glad and groups like that were a little bit more reasonable with allowing people to speak their mind without targeting them, yeah, more people would go like, all right, you know, hey, these these are guys just like the people I know. You know, it's 
I think it would uh, it make it would make them as a group harder to feel discriminatory against. Yeah, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's that that whole angle where you know you can't even say stuff like that right. that really gets like you know because it turns makes people go no fuck you like every I'll say what I want every joke whether well, it was some studio head this woman wanted all homophobic dialogue taken out of scripts it's like shut yeah. the fuck yeah. up. Great. What are you doing? Should we just have every interest group go over every script to uh, oh, make sure nothing's offensive God. in there and then see what spits out the other end? Yeah. That crazy. Yeah. Let's see. Well, the gay is uh, the big story today. It's unbelievable. It's Everyone every, loves the gay. It's on every fucking TV. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And all these fucking news people, but not so much the people reporting it, but the people doing commentary. Yeah. Oh, they're all just uh, doing the eggshell fucking tap dance. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone has the potential to get fired for what they say over this. Mm-hmm. So you'll just see these people really doing well, the old tap dance a Rooney. <laughs> goes back to our point. They're scared shitless to, you know, say what they feel. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. As soon as you go a little too far, man, they come after you, and then your bosses don't fucking support you. Right. Period.